we have to be proactive, because if you're not proactive, you fall behind, and you have to have precaution, which means you don't try things that may sink the ship by using new technology. Mistrusting the future makes it hard to give up the past. Technology does not solve human problems. It solves practical problems, water, food, energy, that sort of thing. It's the framework that changes with each technology and not the picture. If computers have knowledge, what does that mean for us? Is it actually true? When you use the Vision Pro, right, you can dive into data like you were in Minority Report, you know, like this and throw it over there. And uh, I mean, it's like a hundred X, very addictive. And we're moving from this world of intelligent assistance, IA, and that's really 98% of today. It's just smart software. So if we use that word, then it's much less threatening because it's like no longer stupid, basically. The interesting part is that artificial intelligence is now a general purpose technology, a GPT. General purpose means used everywhere. Forecasts show that roughly in 20 years, we can have a global GDP increase of 17 trillion by productivity derived from AI. Think of AI like a power tool, like a carpenter that has a hammer working on the door, letting the door. Now the carpenter has a nail gun. The nail gun will get the door done much quicker, but you don't give your nail gun to your five-year-old son. We'll be becoming superhuman, no limits to what we can do. That's the promise. Remember, people with the tools will beat the people without the tools. If you have the tool, you can do better. Generative AI means we have software that can make content. Videos, blog posts, write stuff, summarize. Conversational AI, this is the big thing. An AI that can talk to you or to your customer, like a human. A lot of people are confusing AI with automation. That is just not the case. We can automate commodity tasks. Cognification, is really simply put, is a simple process. We stick in the old business into the transformer and out comes the smart business. KLM has already uh, saved 40% of all the food waste on their flights by using AI to predict what people eat and what they don't eat, just by using the information from the customer base. We want the personal connection. We, we want to be able to talk to people. I think that's not going to go away, but clearly we're going to see this kind of idea of the destroyer of routine work. However, in the past has always turned out like this. We find more tools to do our stuff. As we find the tools, we find new tasks. We develop new jobs. We create new value. If your job is 90% routine, you are in trouble in our universe of data. The tax code, the rules, the other decisions, legal precedent, what the other guys are doing, everything. ETA, roughly five years, 2030, let's be generous. And whoever does not do that won't be there. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. There's nothing quite like experiencing life for the first time. Think about where that's going to go next. If you torture data long enough, it will confess to anything. Machines, they're all about logic, data, information, zeros and ones. Humans, touch, sense, hear, smell, emotions, compassion, beliefs, spirituality, you know, long list, no comparison. Humans have eight different kinds of intelligence. Machines only have one. Machines have unlimited computing potential. So we can get them cracking on the numbers. Machines don't think. They don't have hunches. They don't understand. They don't imagine, and they certainly don't care. Everybody in the world will have AI in their profession. Everybody. So your brand and what you stand for will be impacted by the people who work for you. If we reduce the world only to the facts, we are in deep trouble. <laughs> we can't do that because that's not how the real world works. Routine work is what machines do. That's what they're good at. How much of our work is routine? I, it's very hard to say. Even the best lawyer, for example, would do a lot of routine work. If you work like a robot, a robot will take your job. There's no way around that. Right? The goal isn't just efficiency. We have to get off this idea that efficiency is everything. It's not. Creation is everything. Does your data have a sort of truth? Because if you're using internet data, the answer is no. Full of bias, full of mistakes. The cost of being wrong is like having a good laugh or losing $100 million. That's different. The customer wants to know that you understand the future. The future is no longer science fiction. The future is not tomorrow. The future is here. We just haven't paid attention. You have to be the most complete human. That's how it works, right? to understand everything about technology and then on top of that, 
the part that makes a human is the handshake that's important between humans and machines.